marriage and friendship. An excerpt from Marriage, Mysteries and Dimensions of Marriage and Friendship. One wonders why it is so difficult for men and women to be friends. One wonders why it is so difficult for men and women to be friends in marriage. It seems so odd and it turns out to be ugly and most impossible to do. Either there is an ugly compromise like between husband and wife or else passion that eventually turns in defeat. Why always ugly this exists between men and women as part of the marriage institution? It is very simple to understand. Marriage is the ugliest institution established by men. I call it ugly. I call it ugly institution where unlike other institutions, no one is willing to learn from the other or from circumstances and situations. Arrogance remains within. And even if you learn from your mistakes, the other will not accept the changes. You have faltered once and then you have changed. But the other, be it your wife or husband, cannot and can never forget the order that you have once. Again and again that will come up to the surface, no matter how adjustments you try to make and changes you make and changes you make. The attitude of the other remains fundamental to this. This is not only the attitude of body or husband, but it, is, it applies to both. And even if you learn from your history, the other will not accept the changes in The attitude of the other will remain fundamental to this. I have seen persons of change, but their spouse never accepts. Marriage is not a natural institution. It has been invented so that one can monopolize a woman or a man. You have been treating women as if they were piece of land or some currency moves. You have reduced the women to a thing. Remember that if you reduce any human being to a thing, unaware and unconscious, you are also being reduced to the same state. Otherwise, you will not be able to communicate. If you talk with a chair, you must be a chair. Marriage is a means to nature. You can be certain only of this moment that is in your mind. Marriage is a means to nature. You can be certain only of this moment that is in your mind. All promises for tomorrow are spurned in peace of class. All promises for tomorrow are superlative needs of the lives. It is said to understand or to explain the degree of lies. It is said there are lies, super lies, damn lies and statistics. Marriage is a promise to your own man that you will remain together, that you will love each other, that you will respect each other till your last day. What a task no one knows of the next moment and you are talking. No one knows of the next moment that you are making a promise for home time. Man is body mind mechanism. Your mind is still like it goes on changing each moment. Today you may like one person. Tomorrow you may not like the same person. One who was the center of your life once, one without whom sun never rose and never set. Things have changed now. That person is no more significant. That person does not create any ripples in your being anymore. Such is the nature of the world. And such is the understanding of those who remain within the four walls of the world. Then how can you make the promise of Fluidity of the mind is unique. Human body demands lust and mind requires love. No bridge is there between body and mind, between lust and love. 
Thus, there are rules in love. Body cannot demand love, and mind does not demand lust. Mind wants someone to be at your side when you need the most, but there is no need between body and mind. Body knows its own way. Mind continues to remain blank for that moment of togetherness. The custodians of your relatives have overlooked this plan. Maybe they did so knowing then it may be confidence. But there is another possibility that they were unaware of human beings. Certainly they are unaware of the interconnectivity between biology and science. No technique has been developed by the relative to balance with two biology and the psychology. The body and the biology has been rejected. One thing is clear, the balance between biology and psychology brings inner money and means of life. And once you have the means of it, you cannot be known in any condition no, no one can Once you have a glimpse of it, you cannot be yoked to any condition in the world. This does not deny the fact that the liberty of the mind is One moment it is fluid like, next moment this fluidity is moving. Body can be born, nothing. Body is lost. Mind is somewhat conscious. Mind has glimpses of awareness. However, it is just a glimpse. Mind seeks love. Mind seeks someone who is ready to sacrifice and surrender and punish. Mind wants to give itself to someone. When we all want these two minds meet, that which flows between is love. When beyond boundaries, two minds meet, that which flows in between is love. That which attracts below mind is lust. Unless your biology and psychology neutralize one another, there can be no being I emphasize this. Unless your biology and psychology neutralize one another, there can be no being For this, you may have to be. And these priests who are the inventor of many of the say that marriages are made in heaven. Nothing is made in heaven because there is no heaven as you understand. Heaven and hell are conspiracy of these few you mystery. And now in advanced societies, this book is done by psychiatrists. If you listen to nature, your problems, your questions will simply evolve. If you listen to your human nature, however, you are conditioned not to listen to your nature. Instead, you are again hypnotized to listen to the peace. Like a magician, he has hypnotized you, and you consider him as your beneficiary. The problem arises because biologically, man is attracted. Women are attracted to men, but that attraction cannot remain the same forever. This attraction is always of the body of and we have thought that you are attracted to something which is a challenge to you. You see a beautiful man or a beautiful woman and you get attacked. Nothing is wrong. You feel your heart beat fast. You would like to be with this man or woman. An attraction is so tremendous that in that moment you think you would like to let this woman forget. This happens only in the precise moment when the attraction is there and you have not gained access to that man or woman. Lovers do not see each other. They are saying it true, but the truth belongs to this particular. I love you forever and that someone says it is applicable only in this case. This is not a spread over this period of time. But true, that truth belongs only to that. When lovers say to each other, I cannot live without you. It is not that he is deceiving or she is deceiving in me, but it is applicable only in that society. However, they do not know the nature of life. Tomorrow this 
take the one which has looked as simple as look to you in the footsteps. As days pass, the man and the woman both will feel that they are in prison. They have known each other's anatomical geography completely. There is nothing new to explore now. They have known each other's anatomical geography completely and there is nothing new to explore now. In the beginning it was an unknown territory to be discovered. Now there is nothing more to be discovered. Nothing more to be discovered. You know all the particles and the movements of each other. The newness is gone. So to the excitement of each other's companies also. And to go on repeating the same words and the same act looks mechanical and ugly. That is why once Intense passion. Once intense passion turns into you, the woman meets you because you are going to do the same thing again and again, the same standing time. The woman meets you because you are going to do the same thing again and again, the same standing time. To prevent you, the moment her husband enters the house, she goes to the bed, she pretends to have a bed. She wants somehow not to get into the same club. And the man is flirting with the secretary in the office. Now she is an unknown man. This is the outcome of condition and jealousy. First you are told in marriage is the bonding union for seven lives. To me, it is all of nature. What is unnatural is binding people in the name of planet, in the name of God. Okay, I have heard Mullah Rasputi was celebrating his 25th wedding anniversary. So he wrote a letter to his wife. This is the story of each Mullah in prospect of the news. The letter he wrote, My dear Mrs. Rasputi, today is our 25th wedding anniversary. In this day, I wish to remind you, on this day, I wish to remind you of our life and commitment. In the past one year, in the past one year I tried to make love to you every day, but I did not succeed in doing this. Each day you gave a new excuse. Here is the list of the excuses that you gave. I have watched your favorite show. I am at home with my sister. I am talking to my brother overseas. Window is open. Neighbor may watch. The light is on. The child is sleeping. I have to feed the baby. I just have to face that. I have to dye my hair. I am busy with my baby. I have a headache. I am very sleepy. I have to go by the neighbor. I am going to a movie with my friend. I am going to concert with my sister. I am going to the church for a special sermon. It is too late. I have to take a late night shower. I have a late party. I am drunk. I have. I am too tired to make love. I had an upsetting day in school. I have invited my friends to come for dinner. I am going for a car of sleep by a neighbor. I am talking to my friend. I have seen my friend up almost ten years. We have guests. House. The door is open. It is too late to make love. I am feeling too cold not to undress. It is too early to make love. Everybody is making me sleep. I still have it. And that is all you can think about. And that is all you can think about. This was the list of you. You can make your own list. It is in a better world. In a better world. More intelligent woman, people will learn, but will not make it. It is not a business. They will understand each other and they will understand the changing flux of life. They will be true to each other. The moment the man feels that now is the beloved home, is no joy for him. He will say that the time has come. There is no need for marriage. There is no need for divorce. Then friendship will be possible. You ask me why friendship is not possible between men and women. Friendship is not possible between the children and the You ask me 
why friendship is not possible between men and women. Remember, friendship is not possible between a gender and a male. Friendship is possible between equal people. Friendship is possible in totally free from all bondage of society, culture, civilization. Only living true to their authentic nature. It is ugly that old and the law and the state interfere with them. You have to seek their permission. Who are they? It is a matter between two individuals. Their private affair. But man has created societies, cultures, civilizations, rules, regulations, and made the whole humanity unnatural. That is why men and women cannot. And men and women either they husband or wife. And they start owning each other. People are not things. You cannot have ownership of. If someone treats your wife as good and approaches her, you are gay. You are ready to fight because he can approach you. No wife is anybody's property. So do no your husband is anybody's property. It is a kind of the world you have. That it is the kind of the world you have created. Where everyone is reduced to poverty. There is jealousy and hatred. In such case, love is bound to turn into pain, and for the whole life, the game goes on and on and on. And this hatred, you think beautiful children are going to be born out of such union with others. Children are not born from love. Instead of the beauty of lust, it is wife's duty to allow you to use them. To tell the truth, there is no difference between wives and prostitutes. It is like having your own car or having a traveling in a taxi. A prostitute is purchased only for a few hours. Wives are a long term affair and it is not. Royal families are not allowed to marry outside the world. Status, money, and power. Nobody can love anybody in such circumstances. Where the relationship is financial, a woman, the woman is dependent on you because of her. But and for centuries, men have not allowed women to be educated in business. To have jobs for the simple reason that if the woman has her own financial status, her own bank account, you cannot reduce her to. She has to be dependent on him, and who is to prove that anybody who has to be dependent on him will love him? Every woman wants to kill the husband. Is another man who does not kill him because if she kills him. What will she do? The choice comes to the man. No one would like the man to stay in his house. If the choice comes to the man, no one would like the man to stay in his house. She is not educated. She has no experience of the society, and she has no way of earning. The husband, without any except exceptions, wants to get rid of the woman, but he cannot get rid of her. They are children, and himself has promised the woman thousands of times that he loves her. When he goes to his job, he gives a loveless kiss to him. It is both loveless and tasteless. It is just like two scoundrels touching each other. Nobody is pressed. Man has created a society in which friendship between men and women, between man and woman, is impossible. Remember, friendship is so valuable that whatsoever is consequence, they remain friendship. They remain friends forever. Even with your wife, even with your husband, allow absolute and total freedom to be. It is your duty that hurts that she has found someone else who is better than you. It is not a question of that. Maybe just your shoe. And if you give full freedom to each other, perhaps you can remain together or hold it down because there is no need to get rid of each other. Marriage creates the need for the needs. Freedom is taken away. Remember, freedom is the highest value.